What's up everyone, Tech Cloud here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can pair your LG Watch Urbane with your Android phone and I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge as a phone to pair with the LG Watch Urbane. So let's check out what is the procedure to pair the watch. First of all you have to put your watch on the charger and if your watch has charged less than 20% you have to wait before it uh, goes over 20%. So I will uh, put down the watch here since uh, it is only 17% and give it a uh, few minutes to go over 20%. Charged uh, percentage goes over 20. You will uh, find this uh, particular sign on your uh, watch screen which is an indication that now watch is ready for pairing. You can slide the screen using your uh, finger and as you can see you need to install Android Wear app on your phone. So all you have to do is uh, launch the Play Store and search for the Android Wear and once you have found it just uh, open that and click install. Give it a few seconds and uh, it's gonna install. Once you have opened the app, you will uh, find this screen. Press on this arrow and you will uh, find two options. If you want to use uh, Google Fit, then uh, keep the first option uh, check marked. And uh, if you want to use the Cloud Sync, then uh, you can uh, also leave the second option check marked as well. Since the LG Watch Urbane has the Wi-Fi, so it can support Cloud Sync. Cloud Sync is basically even though if you are away from your phone and still the watch is connected to Wi-Fi using the cloud you can still receive the notifications. So you need to press the accept and it will go to the next screen. Here on this screen you need to click on the turn on Bluetooth button and it will automatically turn on the Bluetooth and it will find the watch Urbane as you can see on the screen of the phone the LG watch Urbane has been discovered already so click on it and it will uh, automatically pair once you receive this message click ok and the watch will be paired so now the watch has uh, started to sync the data all it is doing at the moment is it is installing the Android Wear compatible apps that are already installed on your uh, phone now it is uh, installing on the watch and also it is syncing the data so while your uh, watch is syncing the data, you will uh, find uh, this notification on your uh, phone. Depending upon your uh, phone, the S6 and S6 Edge does provide this notification and your phone might be a little bit different. And you can directly add this watch as a trusted Bluetooth device using uh, this notification. If your phone haven't shown this uh, notification, then uh, no need to worry. Just go to the settings of your phone and uh, go to the lock screen settings and uh, there you can uh, add the watch as a trusted Bluetooth device. Depending upon the model of your phone, the location and the name of uh, this setting can be a little bit different. While the watch syncs the data, you can uh, watch the demonstration videos on your mobile phone and if you got tired, you can just simply skip those videos. And you will find this uh, Google Now screen. You need to turn on Google Now on your phone if you haven't already done that. Since Google Now is needed for the cards on your watch and also for the voice recognition and for certain commands like the phone calls, messages and all that that you can do on your uh, watch using the Google Now. You also need to allow the Android Wear to access the notifications. So you have pretty much configured your phone and uh, as you can see on the top the LG Watch Urbane says uh, connected and uh, these are the watch faces that are available on the watch at the moment and you can install new watch faces using the Google Play Store. And these are the some of the watch faces available on the Google Play Store. You can install many others using uh, certain apps. You can install new apps using uh, this particular tab and go to the Google Play Store. And these are some of the categories of the apps available for the watch.
At the bottom are the tips for the actions that you can perform on your watch. As you can see at the moment still the watch is sinking and it's going to take a few minutes and once it is done you will uh, find this particular screen on the watch which is an indication that now the watch is ready for the use and that's how the default uh, watch face will look like and uh, at the beginning the watch will uh, show you some uh, demonstration that how you can uh, swipe and uh, do certain tasks on the watch so go through the simple uh, on-screen instructions to find out some of the features. These are the list of the watch faces available on the LG Watch Urbane and uh, there are very nice uh, watch faces already pre-installed on the watch. Of course as I said earlier you can install more watch faces and there is uh, no shortage of watch faces available at the moment. At this point all the apps are installed and uh, you will find these installation notifications on your watch. Since LG Watch Urbane has the latest Android Wear software, so it does support these features and you can scroll through the cards without touching the screen which is really cool. So guys I hope that you have liked the video and if you have liked it make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video and stay tuned for more coverage on LG Watch Urbane and also some of the new smartphones that are available currently in the market such as the LG G4 and the Sony Xperia Z3 Plus, Asus Zenfone 2 and Huawei P8. Take care, see you, bye.